Yo, what's going on, Night Family? Welcome back to another video, guys. Welcome back to another video. And today's video is going to be me talking about Instacart, giving you guys warnings, reasons, reasonings, reasons. Damn, I can't speak this morning. It's like 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm getting ready to do Instacart right now as we speak. So, I'm going to give you guys warnings, reasonings, and also, uh, yeah, tips, tricks, whatever you know about Instacart. Me, on the other hand, I like to make my video raw footage, so if I mess up, I just mess up. No editing, no skip no skip scenes and stuff like that. So, yeah, man, it's a beautiful day in Beaverton, Oregon. My uh, freaking tire light is on. Uh, I got to figure out how's my tires looking. So, I'm going to drive a little bit so it can show the PSI. So, you let me know where to put some air in the tires. So, anyway, god damn it, 23. That's pretty low. But anyway, man, it's hard talking about the video, guys. So right now, I want to give you guys a disclaimer about Instacart. Instacart is not for everybody, and I promise you that. Instacart is not for everybody. If you don't like grocery shopping, driving, uh, dealing with customers, uh, what else? Working 1099, things like that. On the other hand, guys, this job can be annoying at times, but trust me, it's totally worth it. I'm going to give you guys my honest rating of Instacart. I've been doing Instacart full time for about eight months. And I'm about to retire from Instacart because it's just not worth it, in my opinion. A rating, 1 out of 10. Instacart, a 7.5. Instacart is a very good company to work for. At the same time, it's a very bad company to work for. It's what you make it, honestly. Instacart is what you make it. If you're not working 8 hours a day, at least 8 hours a day, you're not going to make enough money to survive. I promise you guys that. Unless you live in a good, wealthy area and you're a lucky individual. That's the only reason. I live in Beaverton, Oregon. I go shopping out of Tiger, Oregon, Tiger Fred Myers in Oregon. Uh, I used to do it in Lexington, Kentucky, Kroger off Taste Creek. That's where I started my Instacart career, and I took it all the way out to Oregon, bro. So right now, always set a goal for yourself when it comes to Instacart. My goal is for everybody, my goal and your goal should be no less than $200 a day. If you're doing it full-time, no less than $200 a day because it's $1,000 in, in five days. And if you're doing it for seven days in a row, it's freaking what fourteen hundred dollars in a week. So you want to you want to manage yourself, have a game plan, have a goal, have a set plan where you want to be at at the end of the week. Uh, always have a week goal, a weekly goal. If you don't have a weekly goal, then you're doing something wrong, you know. Because if you don't have a weekly goal, how are you going to reach your monthly goal? You don't want to be that guy who procrastinating, waking up late. Uh, not on time, not taking it seriously, over here talking about, man, bro, I'm not making enough money, man, I'm getting tired, man, I don't want to do this order, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that, you don't want to be that person who making excuses, man, you want to be that person who out there going to get it, Instacart will literally put you in a self-employed mindset where you want to better yourself to become better, make more money, invest, do things, other things, make lucrative income, uh, passive income, that's what I meant to say, you want to do better, you know? But my warnings for Instacart, guys, stay focused. Instacart can drag you down. Instacart do have a bad habit of slowing your badges down, even when the store is in the red. Red means high demand. The highest demand that a store can have is red. I was in the red many times, guys. I've been doing this for like eight months, uh, close to eight months. I don't know. It's been eight months. I've been doing Instacart full time. Started back in Kentucky. There been plenty of times where I'm in highest demand stores and the store is booming, bro. It's supposed to be booming. Highest demand for an hour, right? Guess what? I'm sitting in my car for an hour. I only see two to three orders. How am I seeing two to three orders when the store is at the highest demand? I They should show us the number of, 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 of orders at the store. As a Diamond Cart member, five star or high uh, rating on the scale, we should see every single order. There shouldn't be an order we should not see. Honestly, we work this hard just to get the diamond. We should have literally every option to pick from, bro. We shouldn't be seeing things second leg. We shouldn't be getting distribute orders to this diamond cart shopper, to this diamond cart shopper, to this platinum cart shopper, to this platinum cart shopper. A diamond cart shopper at the high rating should see every single order at this store. That's just honest my opinion. I feel like that's how it should be. I've been talking about this for months, you know, but Instacart feel like what they are doing is better. Like yesterday, I got a $107 order from uh, Alberston. I was like five miles away from Alberston, uh, AKA Safeway in Oregon. Um, 
I was like five miles away and got a hundred and seven dollar order popped up my way and it was like four it was like four miles from the store. How am I getting an order like this and I'm five miles away, not even in the bubble? Like probably nobody was at that store. Who knows, you know? Damn, it's a big ass truck. It's pulled out from nowhere. Also, this is a BMW dealership they about to build. I'm gonna try to get me a job here. So hey, you know, it's a dangerous sport out here. But anyway, back to another warning. Be careful, guys, of dropping ratings and canceling batches and also skipping batches. Instacart say they will not punish you for skipping batches uh, and not accepting batches, but I feel like they are punishing you because there are times where I'm sitting in my car for an hour and 30 minutes with no good batches. Uh, also, no orders as well. I sit in my car for an hour and 30 minutes. I probably see three to four batches and they crappy. And I'm sitting over here looking at my map and it's showing that the store is in orange and and red they're not receiving anything bro not sure if it's a bug or a glitch it could be anything i don't know instacart is definitely worth it if you guys plan on doing it full time and you live in a good area but at the same time it's definitely not worth the struggle bro instacart can put you in a hole financially physically and put your vehicle at jeopardy one of the warnings i want to talk to you guys about is uh your vehicles, bro. Your vehicles, dude. My vehicle, uh, I got 75,000 miles on it. When I first started doing Instacart, I was at 58,000 miles. So I racked up that many miles. I'm not a good math person. So from 50,000 miles to 75,000 miles. Hey, bro, that's freaking 25,000 miles I racked up on my car within a year. Within a year. I've been doing Instacart before. I did full-time. Just been doing it part-time here and there. You know, things like that. But your vehicle take care of your vehicle things like this when you got a low tire and your tire bus i don't think instacart have any discounts for it they do have car advice car advice is really good i highly recommend you guys use that for oil changes oil changes is very low with car advice my friend yeah he got a bmw uh three series right he need euro synthetic oil so for your euro synthetic oil i'm from mississippi so i'm gonna say oh you feel me oil god damn it Y'all going to take this Mississippi Southern slang, you know? But, hey, country grammar. But anyway, he takes synthetic Euro oil, and his oil change was going to be $136. With car advice, it knocked that oil change all the way down to $35, bro. You get 75% off with Diamond Cart, uh, Instacart. You just sign up for car advice. If you guys ever reach that Diamond Cart status, sign up. You get 75% off your oil changes. Uh, I never did any fixes to my car, like uh, tire changes, things like that with car advice. I never did it, but I'm pretty sure they got it on there. But yeah, man, you putting your car through stress tests, beating up your car, putting miles on your car. You never know if you're going to run over a nail the next day and then a couple weeks later, run over another nail. Never know if you're going to end up in a car accident. Uh, anything happened, man, you're putting your car at very, very, very high risk of being totaled doing instacart instead of having a real job this is not to scare you guys away if you're a good driver safe driver don't be like me vlogging and talking and going to work at the same time on the back road funnage road taking turns and stuff like that and they got a lot of construction going on through the tiger and beaverton area you know but don't be like me be safe drive safe drive smart don't be smashing on brakes uh keep smashing on brakes you're gonna mess your car up a lot things like that you know your car is another warning what else another warning uh, financial well-being. Your financial well-being can be at jeopardy and be at very high risk of going into some type of financial default, downfall, you know? You don't want to be that person who's not working enough, not making enough money, about to lose your apartment, behind on rent. I was that guy my first three months doing Instacart because I wasn't focused. I wasn't self-employed ready. I wasn't in a hungry, grindy, self-employed mindset. I just came from a job working from Toyota, uh, Toyota Nicholasville, Nicholasville, Kentucky. Great dealership to work for. I highly recommend it to anybody. Uh, I went from making five to $6,000 a month to making like probably $1,500 to $2,000 a month when my rent was $1,300 a month at my apartment. I was taking care of my mom at the time being, uh, so I needed money and I thought Instacart was gonna be a way out because I was thinking to myself, if I can make $200 a day, I'll be awesome, bro. That's 4,000 a month. And at the same time, I wasn't hustling and grinding enough. Uh, I became lazy. One thing as well, don't be lazy when it comes to Instacart. Instacart can literally bankrupt you. They can financially put you in a hole. You'll find yourself struggling to get out. You don't want to be that guy. 
So always make sure you stay focused, set goals for yourself, continue to push, never get lazy, never slack, never do that. Uh, overall, I recommend Instacart to anybody out there who want a part-time job. It's an awesome side hustle. It is one of the best side hustles, and it's one of the best gig working jobs and one of the best delivery jobs that you can ever do. Uh, they got a lot of perks and benefits to it. That's one good thing about it, and I'm running 10 minutes. I'm not going to try to make this video longer than 15 minutes. I'm trying to compact everything that I can think of inside of one video. So if I'm rambling around, please do ex excuse me, guys. Forgive me. Hey just thinking bro and also man instacart uh can be a struggle so just stay focused man stay dedicated at it stay hustling stay grinding at it and i feel like i'm missing out something i want to say uh also tips for you guys stay at one store instacart shoppers stay at one store do not be bouncing around your city this store to store store to store stick to one store that you know that works for you i don't care if it's the store that has the highest orders uh per hour i don't care what it is bro if it's a store that works for you and it gets you to your goals oh shit wrong turn if it's a store that works for you and it gets you to your goals stick at that store me i drive 5.5 miles away six uh seven kilometers away kilometers away to tiger fred meyer i live five miles from tiger fred meyer i drive out here go to this Kroger. I be at this Kroger all day, every day, make my 200 to $2,500 a day. Not $2,500 a day, but $250 a day. I make good money at the store. At this store, A lot of people tell me to do Costco. Costco ain't for me. Don't listen to everybody else. What work for everybody else might not work for you. Costco don't work for me, but it works for some people. If Costco works for you, stick to Costco. If Costco don't work for you, don't force it. Stick to something that you're familiar with. If you're familiar with a store and you stick it to one store, you'll be familiarized with that store and you will get your orders knocked out quick. You'll see a 50 item order for 60 bucks or 40 bucks or 30 bucks. You'll knock that out in about 30 to 40 minutes. You'll knock a 50 item item order out in like 30 to 40 minutes. That's where I'm finding myself at right now. I'm gonna show you guys my store that I shop at. Uh, I got some other people who I've been convincing to shop at this store because I'm finding myself making 200 to 250 a day. It's very good for Instacart. 250 a day. Uh, you're honestly making five hundred dollars every two days, and two days making five hundred dollars. Every four days, you're making a thousand dollars. So, hey, you want that to happen for yourself? And this is my store right here. I'm about to go to I'm about to go to uh, I'm about to go to Burger King's real quick, guys. So, hey, about to wrap up today's vlog. If you guys did find yourself enjoying today's video, thumbs it up, subscribe to the channel, more see more videos from me, of course. Sorry to cut it off, but hey, dude, stay hustling, stay grinding. If you guys want a part two to this or want me to go into more detail with this, I'll be glad to do it. I love you guys. I'm out. Peace.